Some days your aim is not doing what you want it to do. It feels like every shot you swear was on the enemy completely misses. You lose every duel, don't trust in yourself anymore, and your teammates might start raging on you. I know how it feels, my friends. I've been there too many times. But how to fix this? How could you still make kills even though your aim is completely garbage? Well, my friends, there might be a simple solution. You just gotta play as a sneaky red by using spots like this. Get around. The enemies will most likely not like it, but hey, if you make the kills and win games, who cares? So in this video, I'm gonna explain how to play as a red, what are the best red spots, when to use them, and of course, tons of examples with tons of tilted enemies. But first, since we're gonna learn these red plays, you're probably gonna make some nice rounds during the games. And when you make a play, you of course want to share it with your friends or maybe even in the Lowlander Discord server for a chance to win the battle pass. Want to record your games but not know how? Well, I might have something for you. It's the app of the sponsor of this video, Outplayed. Outplayed is an amazing video capturing app made for gamers. Using it is very simple. You just download the app, choose your preferable settings and hop into the game. It will record automatically. The cool thing about this app is that once you recorded your game, you can see all the in-game events on the timeline. Once you died, made a kill, made headshots, it's all there. Perfect to find that little red play that you made. And this is not all my friends. You could also edit some clips out of the game. Go to the video editor, find the round that you want to share, create a clip and share it with all your friends on Discord, YouTube or Twitter for example. Want to skip the editing part? Then you could also press Ctrl plus F3 to record the last round you played. A pretty cool app, so if you want to try it out, feel free to download Outplayed with the link in the description. It's completely free, so why not try it out today? Big thanks to Outplayed for supporting this channel, and now let's continue. Let's start this video with a different type of red spots. First off, we have the classic spot. These are the spots that every agent can use. I'm talking about nasty corners, camping behind the box or on top of the box. A few examples are on A short on Haven, this nasty corner on Ascent, and of course one of the most common spots on top of the container on Ice box. Even though all these spots are very decent to use so now and then, the big problem is that almost everybody is well aware of them. So when you're about to use one of these spots, you're basically praying that the enemies won't check it. And then it doesn't always end up very well, my friends. Plus, once you made some kills from these spots, then you won't be able to use them in the same game, because of course, then for sure that the enemies will expect you there. But still, it doesn't hurt to try this out so now and then for some easy peasy kills. Now, for the second type of red spot. Who's that Pokemon? It's Viper! It's Viper! It's a rat. Oh. Jokes aside, the second type of spots are the agent specific spots. Some agents have a perfect kit to make a lot of red plays and Viper is one of those agents. You could for example use your ultimate to stand on a sneaky spot where the enemies won't expect you. Or use the Viper wall anywhere on any map to make a spot where you could chill in. Like over here on Haven. Viper is just one example. There are obviously more agents that could create these spots. I think most of us have seen the TikToks of Akre the Dog, for example. He creates sneaky cypher plays like this one. Yes. One enemy. These type of self-made red spots are a bit better than the classic red spots. The main reason for this is of course because it's less obvious. I mean, if you ever see a harbor wall like this, there's no way that you're gonna check this corner. But that's exactly how players like Raptor Z are getting some easy kills. You got the lineups, my friend. You got the lineups. Anyway, next up on the list are the smoke and push spots. For these type of plays, you're just gonna hook the barrier, and once it goes down, you immediately smoke and rush towards the spot. You could use this trick basically anywhere on any map, but sometimes it gets a bit obvious. Take C Long on Haven, for example. If you smoke over here, there's a high chance that the enemies will expect you and Cubby. And that's not very good, my friend. So in high elo, be careful for these type of plays. What you could do, however, is trick the enemies. Instead of smoking deep and then push, you could push first and then smoke behind you. Like over here on breeze when you do this there's less chance that the enemies will expect you behind this box singularity got some nice kills with this trick he wanted to smoke didn't got time however but in the end he got the kill so easy peasy Oh my god, you're so annoying. Yes, for sure you're annoying. You're a little red. Nice skills though, I like it. While we're talking about these type of plays, you of course don't have to use the smoke. You could also use another ability like a sage wall. And then you create something like this. Well played, Dave Bakun. Aight, I like these red spots. Sign me up, I will start using these and win easy games. Well, it's not that easy, there are some flaws. So here are some things to keep in mind. The first one I discussed earlier, you can't really use the same spot in the same game, otherwise people will just expect it. Then we have another flaw, you might have noticed it in the clips, but once you use these type of spots, you most of the time don't really have a way out. So it's a full do or die. It's not a question if I stay alive or not, but more like how many kills can I get before I die. Five 
To counter this, you could abuse some agents that have a nice escape like Chamber or Reyna. But yeah, it's something to keep in mind. So a big tip I would give you is to use these type of plays in an eco round. In those type of rounds, every kill counts. So it doesn't matter if you get one kill or three kills. As long as you get one, it's already good enough. And of course, if you get an enemy from a red spot, you're often very close. So you can immediately take the gun. And another flaw, the more you climb the ranks and the higher elo you get, the less effective this will be. Especially in the lower elos, people tend to forget to check corners. So in low elos, it's more effective than in high elo. But opposite to the flaws, you also have a secret buff. When you get the enemies from a red spot, there's a higher chance that they will tilt. They might rage on each other and say things like, why didn't you check the corner? I mean, who wouldn't tilt when you get killed from this angle? Easy. And honestly, morale is very important in this game. So don't underestimate that. So what I would say, my friends, find your little corner, chill in it like a sneaky rat, and tilt the enemies easy peasy. Thank you so much for watching, and I see you guys in the next one. Peace.